Did anybody else notice how in Orange is the New Black season six, like nobody even wore orange? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you are new to my channel, I have a mental health channel. So if you're into that stuff and improving your mental health, make sure that you subscribe, ring that notification bell if you like to too. But anyways, what I try to do is I try to pull things from pop culture, whether it's movies or TV or YouTube, and see what we can take from it to improve our mental health. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about Barb and Carol from Orange is the New Black season six. This is something that was highly requested by a lot of people. So I wanna take a look at their storylines and kinda of learn from it and see like, what can we do to improve our mental health when it comes to this stuff? So there will be some spoilers, not huge spoilers, but eh, whatever. So quick recap, Barb and Carol are two of the main new characters on OITNB season six, all right? So in this season, we're at the Max Facility Prison. Uh, everybody's divided by blocks. So Barb and Carol are in two different blocks. They're sisters, they're both in there for murdering their little sister back in the day, all right? And they're in this like insane feud and they both hate uh, another character named Frida who has been in previous seasons. And as the season goes on, we start to learn more and more and more about this feud, okay? So, at the very end of the season, like, we start to learn towards towards the end, not in the final episode, but towards the end, that this whole beef that they've had for 30 years, they used to be in the same block, and Carol was telling a story about this restaurant they used to work out and work at and this funny story that happened. And Barb's like, no, that happened to me. And she's like, no, that happened to me. And they get in this huge fight and they can't stop going at each other's throats. So they end up getting separated into different blocks. And this is how it starts. So they have these blocks and they're always fighting against each other and they have their own crews and everything like that. But then what we find out in the finale is when it goes back and shows the story, neither of them had this story. Both of them were there as another waitress told them this story about a glass of ice, but they thought it was the classifieds, right? But anyway, so we learned that how stupid it was because they both of them forgot and they didn't even realize that neither of them owned this story. So I wanna talk about resentments and holding on to stuff and things like that. Um, and then I'll talk about some other stuff towards the end of this video, but anyways, like, so what I had to do, something I've been working on with my mental health and something that's been an ongoing, but six years is when I started doing this, um, when working with you know a mentor, and some of you are gonna know what I'm talking about, I had to write down all of my resentments from a very young age. I had to write down per people, places, institutions, everything from as young as I could remember. Everybody who had wronged me, who had hurt me, anybody that I still had harsh feelings towards. And this list was huge. Some of you have been around my channel for a while, you know I, I've mentioned I used to be a very angry person. I hated everybody, and everybody was the reason why my life sucked. So my list had 133 people on that. Most people who write down this list, maybe 20 to 40 people on average. And this isn't to boast myself up. Like I was a terribly, terribly, terribly awful person for holding on to so many grudges and resentments. So as I'm writing this list, um, the guy I'm working with, he says, on the very last person, the very last person I want you to write on this list is yourself. So I'm writing this list. So imagine writing your resentments towards 133 different people, places, and institutions. 133, and various resentments against each of those people, places, or institutions. So this list, this took up almost an entire notebook, okay? And finally I get to myself. And my very last resentment to myself was, I have a lot of really stupid resentments. Like, when going back through, when you write this stuff on paper, and I suggest some of you do this, if you struggle with anger issues or letting go of the past and stuff, like, write this stuff down. Like, when I did that and I saw how, my, how many pages this was taking up, how many things I had grudges against, things that happened when I was a kid, things that happened when I was a teenager, things that even happened a year, a month ago, like former employers or coworkers or ex-girlfriends from like high school and middle school and you know, like different situations. Like I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh my God, like what is wrong with me? Like why am I holding on to all this stuff? This is not useful in any single way. And I need to dedicate an entire week to uh, anger management. But like we hold on to so many things from the past that are just wasting our time. Like I, I remember getting to a point, I had this epiphany, this moment of clarity, right? Where I sat there and I was quantifying like how many hours do I think I've uh, spent being angry at other people, right? And I was like, 
This, this probably took up years of my life. And like, you know those nights when you're laying in bed thinking about that person who screwed you over all night long? Like I had to imagine like, they're sleeping like a baby right now. Like this is not useful to me, it's not hurting them. Like why am I doing this? Why can't I just let go? So something I constantly do now is like when I do get those feelings right, I look at it, I assess the situation, I see what's going on within me, and I let go as soon as possible because it's just not useful. This isn't necessarily letting the person off the hook or saying what they did was okay, but this is about me, this is about you, this is about strengthening your mental health. Let go of the past, okay? Learn from it, use it um, to be a better judge of character in the future, know how to react in certain situations. Know that the next time you get angry, when you're wasting hours or days or weeks or months or years, years on it that it is only hurting you. We gotta let go of this stuff. And Barb and Carol really could have benefited from letting go of this stuff. So the second topic I wanna talk about is the feud between the two blocks over Car uh, Carol, I almost called her Carl, uh, over Carol and Barb's beef, right? Like, this is crazy and this is like kind of prison mentality, but I wanna like, how can this relate to you? Like, sometimes we're loyal to a fault, okay? And what this means is we get this like grandiose idea in our head where to be a good friend, to be a good family member, you know, whatever it is, that we have to stick by this person's side no matter what, no matter how wrong they are. And like, especially what we see like going on with YouTube drama like TanaCon or FouseyTube and things like that. Like, think about the enablers. Think about people standing by their side. Think about like Tana's vengeance against VidCon and people gassing her up and saying, yeah, girl, yeah, yeah, right? Like, there's a point where we gotta look at people and say, listen, like, this is your thing. It's not mine. I am not diving into that with you. Like, I'll be there for you, but I'm not gonna help you fuel this hatred because in season six of Orange is the New Black, like they were literally trying to get the two cell blocks to kill each other. And what we find out at the end is that Barb and Carol actually schemed this. They completely used all of the women following them to kill each other as a distraction so they can go take out Frida. Like think about that for a second. Are you being loyal to a fault? Are you following people blindly in your life? Because you have this false misconception in your brain of what it means to be a good friend, a good family member, right? Like, think about that. Is this really hurting you or is it helping you? In most cases, we'll find that it's hurting us. So assess these situations. Like, I'm a huge, huge, huge advocate of just auditing your life on a daily basis. Like, see what situations you're in. See what's stressing you out. See what's, you know, causing you negative emotions, negative thoughts and things like that. And see what you need to get rid of. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you just gotta say, okay, your feud is your feud. Like I'll help you like as you're struggling with the difficult feelings and emotions and things like that, but I'm not gonna help you perpetuate this anger and animosity that you have. And what I was talking about in the first half of this video, maybe you can teach that person to let go of some stuff too. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I would love to know your thoughts. What were your thoughts about season six of Orange is the New Black? What did you think about Barb and Carol? Leave your comments down below. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, again, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. Go ahead and click that little round subscribe button. And I wanna take a second and send out a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, all right? And if you wanna check out some more content on this channel, you can click or tap on one of those thumbnails. Thanks so much for watching. Let go of your resentments and I'll see you next time.